Hello there, fight friends. MMA Andy Cotterell here with the MMA Weekly Canadian News Update. It is Monday, the 29th of January, 2024, and right off the bat, you'll notice that I said Monday. In the past, I've released these on Sundays. However, I've decided that Mondays are probably a little bit more, uh, make a little bit more sense. It's when people start your week, so you're starting to absorb your MMA news. Uh, so moving forward, we're going to go on from here. Secondly, if you're watching a different clip on Instagram, it's because I used to release the whole thing on Instagram. Uh, I've decided, though, that due to the time constraints on Instagram Reels, I was cutting stuff out and I was making it shorter than I wanted to. So moving forward, I will be releasing the whole report on YouTube that you're watching right now. And I will do a short clip for Instagram that can just bring you in and, and you can share with your friends, let them know where I am, what, what, what they can expect to see. So moving on, we're going to talk about two weekends ago at Unified MMA 55 that was on January 19th in Toronto. And as you know, it was a huge night. Not only was it a fantastic fight card from top to bottom, but UFC president Dana White was in attendance with his Looking for a Fighter TV show. And the, the premise of that show is that Dana White and, and, uh, and a, few, a few of his friends go to different events around the world and they look for fighters they can sign to the UFC. Well, good news for two Canadian fighters, at least, that I know of. Pat Pitlick and Michael Imperato, they have both been offered Dana White Contender Series contracts to fight sometime, I'm presuming, in the next year or, or in the next six months or whenever that may be. Uh, so congratulations, men. That's huge news and we wish you best of luck. Okay, moving on now, we're going to talk about BTC. Uh, BTC is a, a fight promotion in Canada, and this is for the new people. Uh, it's named after the Burlington Training Center, and BTC has a couple bits of big news that I'm going to share with you now. Number one is that they will be having a heavyweight tournament in the next few months. There are a whole bunch of names that I'll be reading off to you in, in a moment. So, so far I have names like Mike Mead, Lorenzo Sellis, Bogdan Kotok, who's a training partner of a former UC fighter Tanner Bozer, Tim Kronk, and Jake Cunningham. There's a few more that I have, but I, I can't release right, right now due to contractual issues with the fighters, but those will be coming up shortly. Uh, so that's going to be huge. I think the first heavyweight fights will be on the BTC Kingston card, which I'm going to talk about right now. So BTC Kingston is coming up uh, in a few months or in a month or so. And if you go to uh, MMA.ca and follow along with me on the Fight Finder, or sorry, the upcoming events section that I have, and go to the BTC Kingston card, which is on uh, 16th of March, I have, uh, MMA has listed seven fights that you're not going to find anywhere else. So far, I think only on social media, the Matt Smith and Cesar Bonilla fight has been announced. But if you go to MMA, you'll see the rest. And they don't include fighters like uh, Davis Rapagna will be fighting Jared Dumond. Uh, Zach Baldwin will be fighting. Ethan Harrod will be fighting. Uh, if you want to see the rest of who's, who's going to be on that fight card so far, head over to MMA and take a look. Uh, next, we're going to talk about two... Canadian MMA events that were announced in the past week. One is a Norfolk Fighting Championship in Simcoe. That was uh, initially I was going to be told it'd be happening August 24th, but that's not a firm date. It's going to be at some point later in the summer or September-ish or who knows exactly, but that's where it's going to be. Uh, so Norfolk Fighting Championship is a an amateur pancreation um, event, very similar to what Thick Boy Fight Club does. So it's not amateur mixed martial arts, it's amateur, amateur pancreation. And it's important to have a distinction. There's, there's a few small changes in the rule sets, like they wear shin pads and things like that. Uh, and it was also run under the auspices of the Ontario Grappling Association and not the Ontario Athletic Commission. So uh, glad to have them. That'll be fun. Hopefully I can make it to Simcoe and watch that. Next, we have Palace Athena Women's MMA. So they have had two events in the past. It's all women, all female, uh, based out of the, the Western provinces out of Calgary. And their third one is coming up soon. And uh, MMA, of course, has, let me just go to that page right now. Uh, we've got a couple fighters that are on there so far. And uh, Alana Cook, who has recently moved to Niagara Top Team, she'll be on the fight card. Other fighters that I know will be Lexi Rook, Claudia Pereira Late, and Larissa Carvalho. So as more names get added and more fight matchups get announced, I'll, of course, share that with you when it happens. Okay, next we have some unfortunate news. I mentioned in my report last week that UFC fighter Johan Lainess, after his loss at UFC 297, uh, was the final fight in his UFC contract, and he has uh, officially been removed from the UFC roster. So uh, it's unfortunate, but uh, Johan is a, a very... Uh, has a very strong positive mentality. So even though I'm sure it's not fun for him, he has the great attitude and he's back at it. He's going strong and he's going to try to get back there and he's going to do what it takes. And there might be some news very shortly, even by the time you watch this video, maybe it'll be out. I can't really share it right yet, but keep your eyes open to social media. Follow Johan on socials like Instagram and Facebook and stuff. And uh, you'll see some hopefully good news for him today. Uh, that's what I'm being told anyway. 
Okay, and now let's move on to the weekend's fights. So uh, Stony Creek, Ontario's Diana Belbitza, who is originally from Romania, but now trains with Crew LN at uh, Stony Creek's House of Champions. She is fighting on the 3rd of February against uh, a rematch against Molly McCann at UFC Fight Night in Las Vegas. Uh, this fight, the first uh, fight between these two ladies took place in 2019, and Diana was on the losing end of the split decision. So I think uh, now, though, she's she's improved greatly, especially under the tutelage of Crew LA. Uh, she's come a long way, so uh, good luck to Diana this weekend. Next, we're going to talk about the weekend fights that we have in Canada. Uh, of course, Friday night and Saturday night, uh, it's a big nights for us. Friday night, Samurai MMA, MMA 9 will be taking place. And Saturday night, uh, FLA 13 will be taking place in Moncton. And finally, a Champions Rise Fight Night will be taking place in Calgary. So let's talk about Samurai MMA 9 for a moment. Main event is Jonathan Ramsey versus Dan Kaij. So, oh, sorry, that's the co-main event. Uh, main event is Robert Sears versus Kyle Prepolek. I'll actually be talking to Kyle tomorrow when I'll be bringing you my video interview with him uh, in the next few days. I did reach out to Robert, but we were not able to uh, get in contact for an interview. A uh, couple other fights. Another one, Alex Morgan versus Alexander Horschnik. Now, if you don't know Alexander, you of course know Alex Morgan, one of Canada's best fighters. So if you're looking at this matchup and you might be asking yourself, why is this uh, Why is this even a thing? Like, who's this Alexander guy or Alexander, depending where you look? Uh, so... When I was in, you'll remember I posted some some clips uh, last month or so. It was late December. I was I was visiting my sister for Christmas in Calgary, and I attended a training session at Champions Creed MMA. Uh, it was a great day put on by Josh Fox. He was running the whole thing. Hakeem Dawadu was there. Christopher Bryan, um, uh, Mac Loris, and a few other fighters were fighting. Well, uh, Alexander Horshenik was there training. I didn't know who he was. I'd never seen his face before. So I don't know the whole details on him, but he is apparently from the Ukraine and he's come to Canada at some point. I'm not sure. There's probably a, a bigger story there, but he was, he was very impressive. He's not one of the bigger guys in the gym. He, uh, there were of course some lot bigger guys there, but Alexander just had cardio for days and a skill set to match. He was very impressive. So this might be, you know, I, I, I don't know. That's why they have the fights to know who's going to win, but um, you know, you're all betting on Alex to win. And if he wins, that's great for him. Uh, if he doesn't win, don't be surprised. Alexander is not, not a nobody. That's all I'm going to put. So hopefully this is a, a fantastic match for everyone and for both the fighters to come out of it uh, with something. Um, also on the Samurai card be uh, Tommy Morrison and Jose, Jose Sandoval. Other fighters are going to be Ali Majerique, uh Olivier Rain, Isabel Lacroix, who's fantastic. She and her husband, Anton Potoski, are both fantastic fighters. Anton was supposed to be on the unified card uh, just last weekend, but uh, I believe he was injured, so he'll be coming up somewhere else at some point soon. Uh, fantastic fight card. So Samurai, I think I mentioned it before, but they're going to have big fight news today, so keep your eyes peeled to watch for that. Uh, next, the Champions Rise Fight Night. This is basically... Uh, You've seen them different places, like I know in Halifax, there's from the cubicle to the cage. And I think it's the gist of it is they just have normal people that go through some sort of MMA training. And at the end of it, they have a fight. So if you go to the upcoming event section at MMA, you'll see all the one, two, three, four, six, six fights are going to be on that. So that looks like it's fun. If you're an MMA fan and you're in Calgary, I would go to that. Finally, we're going to talk about uh, Fight League Atlantic taking place in Moncton this weekend. And the main event, Christian Savoie versus Christian Tremaine, the Battle of the Christians. I put up my video interview with Christian Tremaine yesterday, and my video interview with Christian Savoie will be up either tomorrow or the day after. Uh, we also have Drake Farrell versus Marco Rubio in the co main event. Other big names are going to be Jericho McPhee and Nick Felber. Uh, Gino Galapredes from Ontario is heading out there for his first fight with them, I believe. And uh, Sam Reno, Dylan Benjamin, uh, Hayden Label versus Rory Gills for the middleweight amateur title. Uh, so that's going to be a great event. One thing I've really appreciated about uh, Fight League Atlantic, amongst many things, is that whenever a fight promotion starts putting on fight cards, they have to sort of figure out who they are and, and what they're doing. So what I mean by that is sometimes wherever you're from, you might have like a new event and they, uh, a new promotion. They put on their first card and they try to get like a UFC veteran or some really well-known fighters. Uh, and Fight League Atlantic didn't really go that way. Fight League Atlantic is a true, truly homegrown maritime organization. They started off with very, very modest, uh, very modest opening with a lot of local fighters. Um, they brought in fighters from away now and again, but for the most part, they are 
you know, locals. And they started off with amateurs with 0-0 records, and pretty soon they've got amateurs with 1-0 records and amateurs with 4-0 records, and they're building up their own base. So all those fighters are very uh, appreciative of Fight League Atlantic, and, and they put on a good show for the event and for the people watching, and Fight League Atlantic is just running, running with it from there. Uh, if I didn't mention the main event between uh, the two Christians is actually the first professional title ever in Fight League Atlantic history. So that'll be for the welterweight title, FLA welterweight pro title. So good luck to both those men and may the, the best fighter that night come out on top. Uh, that's all I have, I think, right now. That's nothing else to say. Um, I'm sure there is stuff to say. However, you know, that's what I have. <laughs> if you have anything you'd like to add or if you think I missed anything or if you have any comments about anything I said, please uh, like, comment, subscribe, and do me a favor. I'm really trying to grow my YouTube channel. I'd like to get to 1,000 subscribers so I can get uh, start getting monetized and start getting some money in. Uh, I put a lot of money out over the years, and it's all like leaving my wallet going that way, and it's not coming back this way. So it'd be nice to switch that around. So anything you could do uh, would be much appreciated. So that's it, Fight Friends. I will see you next Monday. Take care and have fun at the fights.